My name is BBM Sirius, and welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. Today is finally the day. Abra Community Day is finally here. We have about 20 minutes before the event actually starts, so I do want to kind of go over a few things before before we actually jump into it. So, one of the things is um, fun. A fun fact: Abra was actually released shiny by mistake at last year's Go Fest in Chicago. Um, those who actually got the Abra yeah, were actually considered very lucky as Niantic actually pulled him out immediately afterwards. So, like I said, those who actually got the shiny Abra before they pulled him out were considered very lucky. But now today is the day that we can act that everyone can get shiny Abra. So I'm very excited about that. Another thing is I actually thought that this community day was actually going to be Snivy because if you think about it, the trend I've actually been noticing is that every other month has actually featured a starter Pokemon. So like September had like Turtwig, November was Chimchar, and January was Piplup. So I actually thought that March was going to be, or this community day was going to be Snivy just because um, February we had Rhyhorn, so I thought it was going to be another starter. So it's actually different to see... Um, Niantic actually break that chain and actually get a different uh, Pokemon this time around. But it's cool. It's cool though because at least we actually get Abra. So I'm very excited about it. The other thing is Gen 6 is still on the horizon for Pokemon Go. I, I don't know when they're going to release Gen 6. But obviously if they continue the same trend like doing a starter every other month. We'll already be expecting uh, Gen 6 much sooner than than usual. So I think, I think this is a good call on Niantic's end. So... Hopefully we do see the Gen 5 starters at some point as Community Day Pokemon. So I definitely want to make sure I definitely want to get those as shinies. That'd be really cool. Another thing is this Community Day actually is special because we get a special research that we can do. Um, obviously you have obviously you had to pay like a dollar to unlock it, and you actually get some nice rewards from it. And this, and this Community Day also lasts up to 6 hours instead of 3, which I think is really cool. Hopefully the extra bonuses that we get alongside last that long too, because um, this Community Day will actually have Triple Stardust. Originally it was going to be Triple Catch Experience, but Triple Stardust works perfect for me because... I definitely need all that Stardust for powering up my Pokemon, getting Pokemon with good moves that I can use in PvP and stuff like that. But anyways, with that being said, let's jump right into it. Alright, Abra Community Day has officially started. I pretty much just checked all these ones here. None of them are shiny. I did just incense in another one, so okay, this Abra is not shiny here. So, we did get the special research, so we're going to go on ahead and see what all the tasks are. So, the first one is power up Pokemon 10 times, which I can easily do right off the bat. Uh, catch 10 Abra for 20 Abra candies and make 5 nice throws for an Abra encounter. And the tasks that rewards are 2000 Stardust, an Incense, and another Abra encounter. And by the way guys, these Abras can be shiny from the special research, so it's definitely worth checking them. And they're also guaranteed to be really nice stats, for the most part, so... Uh, definitely worth doing that so we're gonna go on ahead and actually just start catching stuff here so I actually do have this Skarmory I do actually plan on using in PvP the stats aren't exactly the best for PvP but it's still pretty good nonetheless so um, if I power this up closer to 1500 then it should at least be 10 power-ups here or at least close to that so we're gonna go on ahead and actually power up the Skarmory right, right here um, I actually do not have a Skarmory for PvP yet, so this will hopefully be the one that I can actually use. So, we're going to power this up right now. And yep, that is 10 power-ups right there. We do have another Abra here. This Abra does not look like it's shiny. The shiny is actually kind of obscure, like you can barely even tell it's shiny almost. So I did complete my first task set here, so we're going to go ahead and actually claim all these right now. So, there we go. And, alright, that's right, I did put a star piece on, so I'm good on that. Um, let's see if this Abra is... Ooh, and it is a shiny Abra, wow! And it's from the special research, too, so that's really awesome. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Well, I guess he is kind of noticeable, like he's just a slightly lighter yellow, so we're gonna go on and catch this thing and see how good its stats are. Ooh, wow, it's an 
that's actually pretty good for a, a shiny Abra. Let's go ahead and actually see what the second set of tasks is. So I did get a slight hint of one of them. Yep, which is catch 15 Abra for another 20 Abra candies. Transfer 10 Pokemon, which I believe rewards a Kadabra. And evolve 3 Abra for 1,000 experience. And then the task set rewards are another 2,000 Stardust, another Incense, and a Poffin. Which is really good if you're trying to get best buddies with a certain Pokemon of yours. So... And the, buddy, and the buddy boost is one of the best things to have if you're going to do something like Master League or just any, just anything really, or even like raids. Alright, so I came across my second Shiny Abra here. So we're going to go on ahead and Golden Raz it and throw an Ultra Ball at it. Obviously, I don't want it to get away. I don't think they... I, I think they might have actually removed the flea rate on it because Abra does otherwise have a 99% flea rate, which makes it really hard to actually get him. And there's a... A really high chance of it running away but I was actually chipping away at like a, a 1022 Abra and it just like it was not running literally like three balls like missed at him and he did not run at all so maybe they did get rid of the flea right I'm not 100% sure but we got this Abra finally we're gonna check the stats on it it's not terrible but he could be a lot better definitely not as good as the first Abra that I got from the special research so that's actually really cool there oh we do have a lot more Abras here so Alright, third shiny Abra here. Let's go ahead, gold grass this thing, and throw an Ultra Ball at it to ensure that he does not run away. Okay, good, we got it. That's good. That's the last thing I would want is to see a shiny, like, run away from me. So, I mean, it is community day. I'll be seeing a ton of shiny Abra, so I guess it wouldn't be too heartbreaking if, like, I saw one run for me, but still. Alright, so we are back once again at Alt Park. Um, got a lot of abras here pretty much check them all um also i do I've, I've already gotten like six or seven shiny abras so far like that's crazy so so i do have the special research completed once again so we're going to claim these tasks and i'm pretty sure this is an a, a cadabra here so we're going to go ahead and claim that now the other thing is because this is the second stage evolution we'll get a lot more stardust than usual we're going to go ahead and just throw a raz on it ultra ball some really nice stardust on on these second stages and third stages so that's not, that's really good got some experience here to claim and now we're ready to cash in our second set and then we'll see what the third set is so i think we do have to evolve that cadabra or just a cadabra into an alakazam yep evolve one cadabra for five golden razes which i need make three great curveball throws for another 20 abra candies and transfer 10 Pokemon for 1500 experience. And then the task set rewards for that is 2000 Stardust, another Incense, and a Rocket Radar. And so I'm going to go on ahead and actually evolve my Shiny Abra here just so I can actually get the rest of this um, special research out of the way. Um, I did actually check that Kadabra I did catch from the special research. It's actually not bad, it's about an 84%. But um, I, might, I might still evolve that one just because, I mean, it's still pretty good stats. Um, it'd be nice to have, like, some really decent Alakazams with that Legacy Move counter, so. Yep. We're going to go on ahead and evolve this Kadabra anyways, just because I already have another Shiny Kadabra already, and I have so many Abras I could just evolve if I don't already, so. Uh, yep. And that pretty much concludes my Shiny family right here. I now have all the... I now have the whole shiny Abra family here, and look at that, it's got counter on it, it's 89%, that's actually really good. Um, although the only downside to Alakazam is that he's actually pretty glassy, so he'll go down like super quick. Um, and with the move counter, this will just be like another move that he could use in like PvP or something, so I might try him in PvP, we'll see. We're gonna go on ahead, and we're gonna redeem all these tasks here. And I think the whole next set is already just done for me automatically, so, yeah. Yep, so the whole next set here has already been uh, done for me automatically, so we will go on ahead and redeem it all here. Nice silver pineapps, I, I could use some more silver pineapps. And, oh yeah, that's right, this one actually, the task set reward for this is um, Alakazam, so... Yeah, we're going to go on ahead and just catch this Alakazam. Um, if you catch it during the community day hours, it will know the move counter. So um, that's just going to be the goal here, just to make sure I get as many Alakazams as I can with the move counter. I can, there we go.
Alright, so far this community day has actually been really successful. Um, I've gotten like well over 18 shinies, which is like crazy for just a community day like this. My sister actually came to join us. We actually did try to do a Landers raid and sadly it just didn't work out because uh, like we were lagging and stuff. But yeah, I've also got a bunch of Stardust now, so I'm back where I need to be. So we actually met up with some of our friends that also play Pokemon Go, and we were talking about just how successful the Liverpool Safari Zone was. And we agreed, the Liverpool Safari Zone was really successful in my opinion. I got like 18 Shinies from that during the 6 hour time frame that me and my dad both had. So, if you haven't checked out that video, please do check it out. Um, I will leave a link in the description down below. So. Be sure to check that out. It, it was real. It was a really good day for me. It's also actually pretty nice outside. Um, it's supposed to be raining real soon. I don't know exactly when, but when it does, we'll probably be just doing the rest of the community day from our car, or we we might even just stop here real soon, just because we have we already have all the shinies we could we could possibly want, and we've already done the special research. So I mean, like. I've like, like I said, I have like 18 shinies. That's a lot of shiny Abra. I think I've only had like maybe one, maybe two or three Abras run for me this entire time. So that's actually not bad at all. I was kind of worried just because like we'd be getting shinies for it. And I think Niantic probably realized people would probably be upset if they lost the shiny like that. I mean, I would be too. Like, especially if it was like the only one I was going to get like the whole day, but yeah, there's really no need to worry about that. So I'm glad I'm glad Niantic did that for us, lower the flea rate and actually increase the catch rate. That was that's really nice though. I, I love that. So we pretty much just decided to call it today for the community day. Um, I got I got I got a lot of shiny abras, but another thing I wanted to point out is I did realize too that my buddy gives me a ton of pokeballs, like 51 pokeballs from gifts. That is a crazy amount. So overall, Abra Community Day was a huge success. Anyways, I do want to kind of go over um, Counter and what it will do for Alakazam. So as far as raids and gym battles go, Counter is not the best fast move at all for Alakazam to have. You'd be better off with something like Psycho Cut or Confusion if you're going to use them in a, in a raid battle or a gym or a gym battle. Uh, because... Um, he, he benefits from the same type attack bonus because that's a psychic move and that's what um, Alakazam is. He's a psychic type. So a fighting move like counter just would not do Alakazam justice at all for raids or gym battles. As far as PvP goes, that could prove to be very beneficial for him as counter is after all a fighting type move so it will give him some nice type coverage against those dark types that he would otherwise be very weak to um you could even use them against like ice types rock types steel types you could use them to literally probably destroy a whole bastion if you really wanted to like that's just how that's how power that's how good counter is against something like that so yeah counter will be a very good move for alakazam in pvp Although the really the only real problem to use an Alakazam in PvP is if you do plan on using him, do be careful because his defense is his defense is okay, but his HP just does not give him the amount of like tankiness that he that he would need. So he would he would he would just like drop down within seconds. So you would constantly just have to shield him and stuff like that just because he's he's very squishy but his offense is really nice I think it's like 271 that's his attack stat so you can just shred your opponents if you know how to use them right overall I think that's the only real purpose for Alakazam with counter is honestly in my opinion for PvP purposes like I said I actually have one that I do I might try out in like the Great League and the Ultra League I'm gonna do a couple test runs with him before I actually invest any Stardust in him to getting like a second move or anything like that and then we'll just go from there so that's the other thing I wanted to talk about is I do want I do plan on actually making more PvP related videos just because the first one I actually did with me using Bastiodon in the preseason actually got over 300 views and that's actually really nice for me just because like I only have like 13 subscribers so that hitting that milestone really means a lot to me guys thank you so much for helping that video reach over 300 views that really means a lot to me so 
if that's the kind of content you guys want to see more of, I'll definitely, I definitely plan on making more PvP videos in the near future. So that's definitely what I plan, what I plan to do. So I love doing PvP, especially Great League, just because honestly, that's my strong point. And I'm also glad that the event lasted six hours because I was able to get all that Stardust that I really need for powering up my Pokemon and even adding like second moves to certain Pokemon to use in PvP. So I went ahead and just invested more Stardust onto a Skarmory of mine that I am now using in PvP. And I just realized that Skarmory is really what I needed to succeed. I never realized just how good Skarmory was. So. So overall, this community day has been really impressive. But anyways, that is going to wrap up this video here. If you did enjoy the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Also leave a like and a comment won't hurt either. But anyways, that is it for me today. I'm BVM Sirius, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching.